Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing phenolphthalein from phenol and thallic anhydride through the thalene dye reaction. Phenolphthalein is a very commonly used indicator in chemistry and is mainly used in acid-based titrations. It turns colorless in acidic solution and pink in basic solution. For this synthesis we will need 2 grams of phenol, 1.5 grams of thallic anhydride, few drops of 98% sulfuric acid and 50 ml of DCM or dichloromethane for extraction. Start by fixing a small 50 ml round bottom flask onto an iron stand using a clamp. A small funnel was placed above the round bottom flask and 2 grams of phenol was transferred to the flask. Phenol crystals are extremely corrosive as a single crystal if it comes in contact with skin for few seconds would cause severe burns. Next, 1.5 grams of thallic anhydride which was pulverized into a fine powder was added on top of the phenol. 3 to 4 drops of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid was added to the flask. Do not add too much of sulfuric acid as that would char the reaction mixture and we will be left with carbon. Next, the round bottom flask was immersed in an oil bath and heated to 150 degrees Celsius. A small stirring bar was put in the round bottom flask and the mixture was continuously stirred. A thermometer was inserted into the oil bath to monitor the temperature. The mixture was heated for 2 hours. While it is getting heated, let us go through the chemical equation of the following reaction. Two molecules of phenol condenses with one molecule of thallic anhydride in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid to form phenolphthalene. Because the color change is not visually appealing with the black background in this case, I quickly swapped it with a white background. Now you can easily appreciate the changes in color of the reaction mixture from white to deep red. After 2 hours the flask was removed from the oil bath and was allowed to cool down to room temperature. Once it is cooled down, the reaction mixture solidifies. Now that the crude product is formed, it's time to extract and purify the product. 10 ml of distilled water was added to the round bottom flask. This was followed by the addition of 10 ml of dichloromethane. Now the solid bottom layer was broken up using a spatula. This helped the steering bar to stir as it was stuck in the solid. After stirring for a few minutes, the contents of the round bottom flask was poured into a separatory funnel. You can clearly see the two layers. The upper layer is the aqueous part and it was discarded. The lower layer contains our desired product phenolphthalein. It was drained into a beaker. Before discarding the upper aqueous layer, it was washed again with 10 ml of dichloromethane to extract out any remaining phenolphthalein. The color of the dichloromethane layer is not as dark compared to the previous extract, indicating less phenolphthalein in this extract. The dichloromethane layer was drained into the previous organic layer. Now the combined organic layer is transferred to a separate tree funnel. 5 ml of 2 molar solution of sodium hydroxide was added to the dichloromethane in the separatory funnel. Immediately the sodium hydroxide layer turns deep purple in color. This is because in sodium hydroxide, phenolphthalein exists as its water soluble salt form which has this characteristic purple color. Also it has more affinity in the aqueous phase than in the dichloromethane. So it comes into the top aqueous layer. Due to the high concentration of phenolphthalein, the solution appears almost black. The layers are also difficult to make out, but they are there. I'll shine a light from the side so that you can see the two layers clearly. The bottom organic layer was transferred to a beaker and the aqueous phenolphthalein layer was taken in another beaker. The previous dichloromethane layer was once again transferred to the separatory funnel and rinsed with another 5 ml of 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. This time the color is much lighter. I don't show it in the video but after adding each solvent, 
The separatory funnel is capped and thoroughly shaken with venting in between to release the internal pressure. Finally, we take the aqueous phenolphthalein layer. It has a high concentration of phenolphthalein. The phenolphthalein solution was poured into 100 ml of 2 molar hydrochloric acid. Immediately the salt form is converted back into its original form and it crashes out as a white precipitate. This precipitate was later filtered and dried. For some reason the white phenolphthalein turns brown after drying. But anyway the product works perfectly as an indicator. For using the product as an indicator, some amount of the solid could be dissolved in something like isopropyl alcohol and could be used for acid based titrations. The yield that I got was nearly 1 gram and that is more than enough for me. So that's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.